After a day of duck hunting, Raymond Verhoeven and Bradley Taylor posed for photos with the day's kill. And St. Francis County Sheriff Bobby May can't stomach it. It's horrible. And when I first saw the photographs, I was just appalled and sickened. So why is May so upset? Look closely. In addition to the ducks, there are cats. And in subsequent photos, Verhoeven and Taylor are actually holding two of the dead cats, still apparently bleeding from fresh gunshots. The, the photos are really, really sad. Uh, the cats, uh, they're holding the cats like they're trophies. A person asked themselves, well, why would these individuals want to take pictures of them and hold them like they're trophies? And what well, you know, to them it's being brave and showing off bravado, but really they're just yellow cowards. These photos were posted on social media. Upset citizens then forwarded them to the St. Francis County Sheriff's Department. Taylor has been arrested on an animal cruelty charge. There's a warrant out for Verhoeven, and May says he's agreed to turn himself in on December 19th when he returns from working on a job that's out of state. If you don't have a conscience, then if you abuse animals, then what else can you abuse? May says deputies believe they have found the woman who owned the cats. A neighbor whose three cats have been missing and who is soon scheduled to come into the sheriff's office to look at these exact pictures to identify her pets. But this is the first case that I've ever worked with animals that actually been shot, just for fun. And um, I think that goes beyond uh, cruelty. WMC Action News 5 at 6 starts now. The hunt is on tonight for men accused of hunting household cats. This just one of the disturbing images posted to social media. One of the men proudly showing off the dead cats. And now a Mid-South Sheriff is determined to find those behind this animal cruelty. WMC Action News 5's Nick Kenny is live with more on this search. Nick? This story and these photos, as you might imagine, very graphic, not just for pet lovers either. Two men face charges for basically hunting and killing household cats. In a case the sheriff says he's never seen the likes of before in his 25 plus years on the job. After a day of duck hunting, Raymond Verhoeven and Bradley Taylor posed for photos with the day's kill. And St. Francis County Sheriff Bobby May can't stomach it. It's horrible. And when I first saw the photographs, I was just appalled and sickened. So why is May so upset? Look closely. In addition to the ducks, there are cats. And in subsequent photos, Verhoeven and Taylor are actually holding two of the dead cats, still apparently bleeding from fresh gunshots. The, the photos are really, really sad. Uh, the cats, uh, they're holding the cats like they're trophies. A person asked themselves, well, why would these individuals want to take pictures of them and hold them like they're trophies and what have you? Well, you know, to them it's being brave and showing off bravado, but really they're just yellow cowards. These photos were posted on social media. Upset citizens then forwarded them to the St. Francis County Sheriff's Department. Taylor has been arrested on an animal cruelty charge. There's a warrant out for Verhoeven, and May says he's agreed to turn himself in on December 19th when he returns from working on a job that's out of state. If you don't have a conscience, then if you abuse animals, then what else can you abuse? May says deputies believe they have found the woman who owned the cats, a neighbor whose three cats have been missing and who is soon scheduled to come into the sheriff's office to look at these exact pictures to identify her pets. But this is the first case that I've ever worked with animals that actually been shot, just for fun. And um, I think that goes beyond uh, cruelty. May says as a cooperating witness, the person who took those photographs does not face any charges. If convicted, the two men face the possibility of up to 10 years in prison. However, May says he's realistically hoping to have their gun permits and their hunting licenses revoked. Reporting live, Nick Kenny, WMC, Action News 5. Tonight, a troubling case of animal abuse. Two men are now facing charges after reportedly shooting and killing three domestic cats for sport. What's worse, they posted the pictures of their kill on social media, pictures you may find very disturbing. WRG's George Brown reports St. Francis County Sheriff is vowing those responsible will be punished. Obviously, the, the photographs are very disturbing. Uh, these two men holding cats like they were trophies, and they were obviously been shot. Three cats that we could count.
St. Francis County Sheriff Bobby May will admit he's seen the worst of people during his years in law enforcement, but these pictures that found their way onto social media are hard to look at, even for the sheriff. William Bradley Taylor is on the right, Ray Verhoeven is on the left. The pair of duck hunters are from Palestine, Arkansas, and are holding dead cats and smiling proudly. Sheriff May doesn't know what prompted them to shoot the cats, but he has a definite opinion on why they posted their pictures on social media. The only answer I can come up with is they wanted to show how brave they were, which I'm being facetious, obviously, but it actually shows what cowards they are. You know, only a coward would treat a domesticated animal like that. Taylor was arrested and is out on $25,000 bond. Verhoeven is out of town, but is expected to turn himself in December 19th. Can't imagine why they would do something like that. People we showed the pictures to were understandably upset. I can't imagine why they would... Uh... Yeah, pose for a picture with these uh, cats that they've shot and killed. Quincy Moore hopes the two are punished. Moore is a hunter and says he feels betrayed by their cowardly act. A hunter represents another hunter and you don't want to see that out there. People breaking laws like that. George Brown, WRG News Channel 3. Arkansas Game and Fish agents are also working the case. Sheriff Bobby May says it's unknown who the dead cats belong to, but he says the two men stand to lose their hunting licenses, hunting privileges and guns, and could face 10 years in jail.